Now remember, we are in the recession hatching season. We are buying gold companies, so when the economy dives, the gold price goes up. But there is another company that benefits from recessions. And you wouldn't think of what it is. It's actually beer companies. People drink more beer in recessions. And that's why beer companies benefit from a recession. So I was very happy to see that there is Anheuser Busch on the top 10 list of Europe. And I looked at the company closer. They have a fantastic value rank of 76. And on top of that, they grow faster than 80% of their competitors. This is a really good reason to buy. Good value, good growth. But then there is a really bad safety rank of just one. And I got a little bit suspicious. I was wondering, maybe our numbers are wrong. So I looked further. I went to Reuters, where you can actually verify our numbers quite easily because they not only show the numbers of the company, they also show the numbers of their peers, the sector, the industry. So you have a lot of things to compare it to. I went there and I found that the liquidity ratio of Anheuser-Busch is only half that of the industry. So it's really funny, you know, if you think of it. A beer company and they have a bad liquidity ratio, that's really worrying. And then I found something even more worrying. I found that their debt ratio is also a lot worse. They have more than double the debt of a typical beer company. And the heart, I, could, I had difficulties believing that. So I went to the Financial Times and looked for reasons why they have so much debt. And I found that Anheuser-Busch actually has taken out the largest loan ever that was, has been taken out by a beer company. So this company has a lot of debt. And a lot of debt is dangerous in recessions. Because when the economy goes down and your margins getting tighter, it means it's more difficult to service your debt. So I decided not to buy Anheuser-Busch. I'd rather drink their beer. That was my decision. I wish you good luck with your decision.